My name is Robert Oman, and I'm the author of the book entitled The Closed Door. Uh, to, just to give you a brief background, my three sisters and I were raised on a farm in Northwest Ohio, and our parents uh, instilled within each of us the importance of living our lives according to godly principles. As we were growing up, we attended a small one-room church that was located right on the edge of our farm. After graduating from high school, I enrolled at The Ohio State University, where I eventually graduated from the College of Engineering. Just before graduating, I was offered a position with a large consulting engineering firm in Columbus, Ohio, where I had the privilege of working for 42 years until I retired in 2011. I've been married to my dear wife, Sandy, for nearly 48 years. And we have two wonderful sons, four grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. In the spring of 1979, my mom gave me a book entitled The Late Great Planet Earth by Hal Lindsey. And that got me intrigued in the end-time prophetic scriptures. But yet I quickly realized that trying to understand them was rather frustrating since not all of the information is presented in one place and not all of it is presented in a chronological order. In the summer of 2018, I decided to write The Closed Door out of a growing concern regarding the decline and the moral decay in this country, and also regarding the fact that the fear of the Lord seemed to be disappearing from the Christian landscape. I also realized that since most people either haven't read the end time prophetic scriptures or understand them, that they haven't grasped the importance of the events that have been unfolding on the world stage because they haven't been able to see those events against the backdrop of the future. I wrote the book, The Closed Door, uh, in an effort to lead the reader in a step-by-step -step journey through the myriad of end time prophetic scriptures in a definitive chronological order. After defining a specific chronological timeline, I then discuss the interrelationships between such major events as the sudden disappearance of nearly two billion people from the face of the earth, which is going to happen in the not too distant future. Shortly after that, there's going to be the formation of three new geopolitical alliances that I've called the Ten Nation Alliance that will be headed by the Antichrist, the Israeli Alliance, and the Magog Alliance. I then end up talking about the three eternal people groups that will be inhabiting the final three eternal realms, the new heaven, the new earth, and the lake of fire as discussed in detail in the latter chapters of the book of Revelation. And yes, there is an eternity, even though there's a growing number of people that seem not to believe in that. I talk about a very simple test that anyone can perform and that, that will prove the existence of eternity. And that test is only a mirror away. I then conclude the book by dis discussing two specific doors because they give a great example of the consequences of man's decisions. The one door is embedded in the ancient past and was the door on the side of Noah's Ark that is described in further detail in Genesis chapter 6. The second door is yet in the future and is part of the parable of the ten virgins that is described in Matthew chapter 25. Both doors have two uh, things that are very similar. Number one, God is the one that closes the door. And number two, those that choose wisely will be experiencing God's blessings, whereas those who choose foolishly will find themselves looking at the wrong side of a closed door as they experience God's judgment. The question is this, which side of the door will you be on and where will you spend eternity? The life choices that you make this side of the grave, particularly pertaining to your relationship with Jesus, will have eternal consequences. And those choices will determine which eternal people group you will be in, and consequently, which specific realm you will be spending eternity. Before life's door closes, my prayer is that you would choose wisely and soon.
Since I have accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior and I have given my life to him, I know where I'll be spending eternity. But it is the deep desire of my heart that someday I would sincerely have the privilege and honor of meeting you there.